I'm going to show you with a simple little gadget how to get some power down at strike that I know you don't know about. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm talking wrist angles at impact. An area of the golf swing that I have no doubt you will have worked on. The bowing of the left wrist has been a biggie. So many golfers through strike have thought about bowing the left wrist, driving the handle forwards to try to get themselves some shaft lean. I'm gonna pop down into the gym right now and show you how important wrist angles are at stabilizing the golf club. So with the cable machine, obviously offers up some real weight that, as you can now understand, the golf club offers. When I put the cable from the floor up and then I attach it to this golf club here, I'm having to use my two hands, my left hand down and my right hand up, to oppose, as explained, the energy of the head trying to droop down. When we set up to the golf ball, to apply the right force on the butt of the golf club, obviously the back pad of the left hand now becomes so important. If the pad of the left hand is not in place and I try to run it through the palm in some way, I'll really battle to create enough pressure on the butt of the golf club to pull that cable up. If I had the grip through the palm of my hand and I tried to pull that cable up, I'd be weaker for it because all I've got is, is this pad through the, the middle of the hand. Whereas if I apply the pad of the hand on the top of the grip, now all of a sudden I start to be able to create more pressure on the butt of the golf club. Now I use my right hand where it sits in the fingers to now use the two to pull the weight. Obviously, the more I can get the handle out and underneath, or should I say not out, but underneath my shoulder, the more this left shoulder and this left hand can push down on the handle and the right hand can lever it back up. Fundamentally, this is the, the weight the golf club has over us when we're swinging through strike. So the grip, the placement of the left hand is an absolute key exponent of allowing the left hand and the right hand to work appropriately through strike. I want to talk about how the left wrist and the shape of the left wrist looks. Set up, as I've explained in my every tour pro does this, is really important that the left shoulder, as explained, sits underneath, also the left hand sits underneath the shoulder. And what the the bench is doing here is giving you a real sensation of the height the handle needs to come back in at. At the moment, with the golf club off the floor, the point at which the, the lever is working at is the bench. The head is trying to pull itself to the floor, the handle's trying to lift up. When I grip the golf club, the pad of the left hand is applying the force down. And as I apply the force down, you'll be able to see how this left wrist, as I apply the force down, starts to crease. Starts to crease. Now, the pressure down on that left wrist that applies the crease allows the loft of the golf club to start to line up more to the left because as I now pull that club shaft parallel to the floor, the loft is looking more left. As I lift my handle up more, the loft is now going to start pointing to the right, as we know. The handle height through strike is an important ascent to lining up the loft, but not only that, it really is an important asset for the angle of attack with the club head and lining the face up. I'm going to pop back upstairs now and demonstrate a lot of what I've just spoken about on the mat. Hopefully that demonstration of the cable machine really amplifies how much weight 
this golf club is exerting on the bottom end of the golf club and how important the grip is, but not only that, how important the orientation of the handle is in setup relative to the shoulder. And it's really interesting, I was thinking about this the other day, how many people reference John Rahm, how close John Rahm stands to the golf ball. John Rahm standing close to the golf ball gives him a real opportunity to get on top of the handle and create force down on the golf club, on the handle. When we start to talk about the delivery of the golf club, this is where these wrist angles really come into play. Because a lion's share of golfers out there have thought about swinging the golf club inside out, and the downswing, the handle has moved towards the right knee and moved out. As I've explained, the face angle will point to the right. You'll see that with great detail in my broom series. Three parts to it, three videos. Do go check them out because they're really important. When the handle is moving out, the face is opening up. So therefore, the commonality of people trying to now flatten their left wrist to straighten the face up has been prevalent. Imagine getting that, that, that cable, pushing it underneath me, lifting up, lifting up the weight, and I'll demonstrate it to you on the mat here. I've now simulated that cable downstairs. I've got myself a TheraBand, I've tied it to the end of the golf club, and I'm now trying to stretch the TheraBand. Let me make that a little bit shorter. That will give us a little bit more pressure. Now imagine me trying to bow my left wrist, which, which would see my hand rotate itself to the side of the golf club because my, my wrist is now bowing. Can you see how the butt of the golf club, when I bow my wrist, can you see how it elevates itself up? So therefore, if that left wrist is bowing itself down and moving forwards, I've got no support on that part of the shaft to lift the band up. I mean, I physically can't do it because the butt of the golf club is trying to pop out of my grip. You can do that at home. I just got myself a TheraBand. I got Nunu, our workshop technician, to burn a hole in the middle and poked it through. Cast that aside. Understanding, therefore, that the butt of this golf club and how that left hand has a responsibility to stabilise the club head through strike so that we start to get the pad of that left hand to push down. So this flattening off of the left wrist absolutely has to be if your grip is weak if your left hand is in a poor orientation. Because the more the left hand sits on the left side, the more you have to generate some sort of shaft lean. And we know that any time the handle moves forwards, it opens the face up. So turning the left wrist down makes the face straighten up, but it brings in all sorts of other areas that will weaken your golf. So that's why my grip series is absolutely essential for you to go and check out on top of every Tor Pro does this to give you the understanding of the fundamentals that need to be in place to start to make you manage this golf club more appropriately. So many people on the back of the broom series have talked about, oh Stuart, it looks like you know, the handle coming out is a biggie, I don't like that. Well, understand that the handle coming out is just offsetting the always prevalent pull to the floor. The handle is always going to work itself to the floor because the club's in the air and the ball's down there. So you're always going to have a lot of effort to pull down. I just want it to be balanced out by some sort of momentum out to the, to the, tar, uh, to the golf ball line. So when we start to then have that pressure and force down, my left wrist through strike really starts to have more cup in it if my grip is neutral, which will start to line the face up. 
What I won't have, so I've hit three down, four from the inside, 4.6 shut. What I haven't done is as I've moved the club down, it started to lift it up, flatten off the left wrist, moved it out to the right to offset the face being open, to offset the handle being pushed out to the right. I've now got two and a half degrees of upstrike inside out 18.3. What an absolute, you know, you've got nothing on the golf ball. So a great little drill for you to practice here. And this is not easy. This is really not easy, but I know you're all up for a challenge because you've all been out there and very, very, very quickly. WRX Golf, some people, some folks shared my uh, Broom series video. It was brought to my attention via my Skillist app that I'm now doing some online coaching on if you want to go check me out there. He shared me the link and uh, some lovely people have been talking about the videos with, with really nicely uh, and I really appreciate that. So you're going to grip the golf club in, in your left hand and what you're going to aim to do is get that pad of the hand on top, get it nicely into the fingers and you're going to make some swings and then what you're going to do is you're going to go all the way up to the top of your backswing and then you start to move the handle forwards. And when you move the left hand forwards, you can see as I start to unravel my body, I'm going to bring the handle forwards. The handle is way forwards. I've got the left wrist looking back at me. And then what you're going to start to do is you're going to start to pull, push the handle down to the floor. And as you push the handle down to the floor, you're going to start to see and feel the butt pressure, which cups my left wrist through strike that you saw me apply in the gym with the cable. So the handle comes forwards, pressure down on the handle with the left wrist. Look how it's lining the face back up. I've got some cup in my left wrist to line that back up. Now I'm gonna try and hit one like that. This is not the easiest thing to do. So there's the handle forwards. Handle's gonna work down with the butt pressure. And we're gonna brush one away. I've hit 3.6 down. I've hit from the inside at 5.2, and I've got a face angle that's five degrees close to my path. So at address, you can see from the face on camera here, I've got some shaft lean, I've got some cup in my left wrist here, because the grip's in good orientation. I've taken it up, I've moved the handle forwards. Then I'm gonna to start to apply the pressure on the butt of the golf club that starts to pull the face in line. And as I'm doing that, it's allowing me to start to feel the pressure and the forward lean of my spine that will allow me to stop getting into forward extension. I hit down at 5.6. I've hit from the inside at, at 5.4 and the face angle was closed 6.7 degrees. So the handle moving forwards, there's the butt pressure again, the cup in the left wrist, the face starts to line itself up and away we go again. I hope you understand that there's a few things in there that might change the way you think about A, the wrist angles. We can have cup through strike, not bow. Pushing down always creates head up, which creates angle of attack. I can hit down without feeling shaft lean forwards. I can feel out without making outside in occur. There is a lot there that will dispel quite a few myths. I hope you've enjoyed that. Do hit the like button, share and subscribe, and I will see you next time.